recording on the uh, video camera in the Caddo Lake Wildlife Management Area on the west side just off 43 and 805 that was the entry over here appears to be a residence it's gated there's some cleared areas for potential tent camping some vehicle parking spaces some trailer parking spaces for um, boats with trailers more cleared areas along the road for camping I suppose and this appears to be a small boat launch for canoes and small boats however it's dry at the base of the ramp may not be dry. There may be water under that Sylvania. In fact, probably is. I'm throw a rock. Demonstrate. Yeah, so there is water here. Glad I didn't drive into it. Beautiful cypress forest, Spanish moss. It's hard to tell dry ground from flooded areas that have uh, growth over it. Ground's very soft, mushy. You can tell by the green that this would be a waterway. And then by the brown, perhaps, could be ground. Following the canoe trail sign on the tree, looking ahead, you can see it's green, a path of green, which must be the, where the water is, shallow water. And then everything else around it is brown. Hopefully that's all solid ground. Hate to step in quicksand. Of course an old boat shed. It's a beautiful area. Very squatchy indeed. But if you look carefully, you can tell the greener areas have water under the uh, growth that's matted on the surface. And then around these trees, it's browner, signifying it may be dry. However, not necessarily. Here's a small turtle. See his head on the left, the sun shining on his shell.
So this would be a fun place to bring a canoe, but wow, hard to get in and out of. With all this thick grass. Let's walk around on the other side. It seems to be firmer ground. Perhaps deer, perhaps hog. A few prints. Push down into the grove. That's a bird feeder on the green post, turquoise post. Actually a bird house, perhaps a uh, wood duck. My vehicle parked up in the parking space. Human boot prints. Not mine because I haven't walked over here yet. Trying to circumvent the lower spots. Keep my feet wet, I mean dry. Very soft. And then you can see the water right here. It's not safe to walk through here without chest waders. Let's say anywhere you see bright green, stay away. It'll be a low spot. Soft mud cracks. Animal tracks, small. Really a beautiful cedar forest. Just look up. where it came from, the boat ramp. Soft forest floor. More footprints, those are quite large. Probably boot prints, but... Set my binoculars. And I don't know if this camera will pick it up, but the footprint appears to go from this stick on the left to this stick on the right, which could be, which could be easily a human-sized footprint.
that's my boot right over it not touching it can't see it very well but it is a definite flattening out of the grasses and the leaves so somebody else has walked through here another print here you can see clearly see the indentation I'm gonna call this human because it's so close to the ramp and it's not that large It's also an accessible dry land. And the depth isn't significant any deeper than my depth. I weigh 225. Interesting tree laying down, pine tree laying across. goes uphill to the right and wetter and lower to the left. 50 yards to the right are pine forest and straw grass, four feet high grass. And then all in here are just the cypress knees, soft bottom. Footprints continue along this direction. See no evidence of toes, but then you wouldn't in the straw. This red straw is all the cedar shedding. Let's go around to the right. No responses. But still footprints. This footprint here facing in this direction. I'll put my left next to it. It's to the right of my foot. It's a little bigger than mine. In that dark spot to the left of that leaf. And it goes up here to just stops right about at those leaves. Not any darker than my footprint. The shape is here. It does have an angle here though. Of course now I've destroyed the footprint. I think it's probably a boot print. There's some animal prints also. Right there, like a deer track or a hog. Again, not visible, just you can see it's kicked up dirt is all, but small. More footprints here. Could have been a deer hunter using this tree as a blind hunting deer. Whew. 
beautiful spot to research. This would be a good area to camp. See somebody is could have been in the here, there's an opening, a clearing under all these trees. Tree knock? No responses to my whistles. Interesting. Interesting, big X right there, and a second X right there. But all these trees seem to have natural appearance. However, that is a pine tree laying up here where all the cedars are. And there's no other pine trees here, but there are 100 yards away, 50 yards away. I'm going to still consider this natural. Look how those are all interwoven between those two cypress and, uh, trees. Let's see if we see any footprints on this side. Right by that wood duck nest, another wood duck nest. Not seeing any footprints on this side. More evidence of rooting, digging, small animal, print. See the grass, and the pines, and oak. There's a big pine. More oaks, and then the rest of these are cedar or cypress, cypress trees. There's a high rise on that side, high ground over there. It's a ridge, runs all along on that side. But you gotta cross water to get to that side. This is the hidden bayou. It's hidden by all the cypress needles. See, yeah, and the uh, Sylvania growth. Can't see any water there, but there's water. You see, water.
don't see any more footprints in this so that was almost assuredly another humanoid human that was stopped by that tree and didn't go any further because there's none on this side of that tree that I'm seeing and my footprints show pretty good if I jump push hard you can really see it so those would have been human because an 800 pound beast would have made much deeper footprints Turn back. It's pretty quiet out here, no squirrels, no nothing, no birds, no nothing. What an excellent natural baline now. Let's cut through into the woods. See how the going is in there. I'm close to the vehicle, right there's the truck. Well, I would say this would be a good place to spend the night while researching the area, but I don't imagine you'd have a visitation here. I mean, it's hard to say. But I don't see any encouraging... There are lots of rocks right in this area. Looks like an old barbecue pit, fire pit. campers. It's like an old gas. One time maybe gas. It's definitely not water. Well, it could be, but so green copper. I don't know. Anyway, it's not functional. Naturally bent tree, I would say. We'll just ease around here a little bit. 
This is the parking area right here. And to the right was the boat ramp. And then we'd walk around to that boathouse. Then around this direction. Found that tree down somewhere over in here. Walked a little ways past it. Came back. Then came through this clearing up on the hill. This is a camping area. You can see it's been mowed where the taller grasses have been mowed down. I'm hearing a bird now, but it's just a cheap, cheap, cheap bird. Nothing's answering my whistle. Looking for a trail through where something may have gone through this grass, high grass. Just looking for natural game trails, but a big, big guy trail. Pretty quiet out here. I'm not seeing any obvious trails that would be obvious to me. This is a trail, but it's like a hen trail. Walking toward the west. <whistles> creaking pine tree as the wind blows, it's creaking. Like a could be an old trail through here. At least it's less dense. And the night past this hole is a bit of a clearing. Could be a trail. Let's go check. Definitely a trail. But now these branches have been broken. So nothing's been through here in a while. Yeah, we're back that way. Not far. Just a little ways away from the parking lot.
So we're gradually going downhill closer to the water. Right there's the cypress trees. So we're kind of just following along this slanted hill. A nice clearing in here. This would be the place to camp. It's just real clear the bottom uh, the land. It's all surrounded by high grasses and brambles on one side and cypress trees on the other and the water out there. Looks like something that's burned here. Old tree stump maybe. Dead rotten tree laying there. Another tree stump over here. Looks like it's been burned out. Lightning or otherwise. Here, crow. Anybody's in here, they're not making themselves obvious. A lot of these trees show signs of there having been a fire. Down low they're scorched, which is normal in a pine thicket. And it's healthy because it gets rid of all the undergrowth and the big trees can survive. So it might have been quite a long time ago, years ago. Tree with some bark flaking off from the fires of long ago. No signs of teeth marks or Nothing unusual. Got to turn around, head back. I'm too old to go traipsing too far back, so we'll just head back.
no bones, no dead birds, no feathers. No stink. So no encouragement. Lots of little birds now. Place my own trail. There's the trail. Alright, I'm pretty tired. So I think I'll go sit and trot, have some water, and plan the next stop. Probably go up to 45. Go east toward Louisiana. Just crossed the Louisiana border. There was a sighting at treetops near Vivian. And then I can backtrack and come down on the east side of the lake and stop at one more wildlife management parking area. I would say that this area, though pretty, fairly remote with the exception of the residents. Obviously people come here occasionally. I'd say it mainly would be a good camping place. But I wouldn't expect a nighttime visitation here. It's just not remote enough. Too many people come here too often. Alright, signing off. End of the recording for now.